Hi, I'm going to walk you through installing the software that you're going to need for the Git and GitHub workshop. The first thing is you're going to need Git installed. Now, if you're on a, a newer Macintosh, <coughs> you may very well already have Git pre-installed when you buy the system. So if you want to check for that, you can bring up the terminal program. And to bring up the terminal program, I'm going to use Spotlight. To bring up Spotlight, hit Command Space, and you're going to see this Spotlight search bar here. Just type in Terminal and hit Enter. And there is the terminal program. So in the terminal program, simply type Git and hit Enter. And if you see this text, that means Git is already installed on your on your machine. So there's no need to install Git itself. If you don't see this text and instead see something like git command not found, I and I I just randomly typed something just so I can see what it would have said. Um then you're gonna need to install Git from the Git website. So if you're on a Mac, just Google for Git for Mac and hit the first link. The domain should be git-scm. I'm gonna show you um, downloading the installer. And once it's done downloading, just click on this package here. Okay, so you wanna double click on this package to open it up. And this is the installer. You can just hit continue. You need to click on install for all users of this computer and continue and hit install. Type in your administrator password, hit enter. It's done. So let me hit close. Also close this box. Let me come back to my terminal that I already have opened. Inside the terminal type git and hit enter. If you see this text, then you've successfully installed git. Now next, um, we need to install the interactive workshop that we're going to use. That interactive workshop is called git it. And uh, it is built using the Node.js programming environment. So in order to run it, we're going to need to install Node.js. So go to nodejs.org. And Node is actually a fairly small install, comparatively speaking. Just hit the install button to install Node. Click on When it's done downloading, just click on this package. I'm going to walk through this installer. Click continue, continue. Hit agree to the agreement. Hit install. Type in your password. Hit enter. And there it is. Command tap to come back to the terminal. And I'm going to verify that node has been properly installed. To do that, just type node dash dash version and hit enter. And that's the version of node that's installed in your system. And that also proves that node has been properly installed. Now, to actually install the workshop that we're going to need to run, type sudo npm install git dash it dash g. Hit enter. Type in your password. Don't worry if when you're typing the password, you don't see anything uh, that's intentional. Just type your password blind and hit enter. And now it's going to download the workshop for you. And it's done. I'm going to clear the screen. And to verify that the workshop has been installed, type git-it and hit enter. 
and there is the workshop running. And this is a really old school terminal based graphical user interface. It's simply a text menu. So each of these items on the menu, well, the first ones anyway, is a lesson. And then of course at the end, there's help and exit. So uh, let's go into the first lesson by hitting enter here. And then this is a lesson, although the real lesson is located at this URL. So you can copy this by doing command C and paste this URL in your browser. And uh, there are 11 lessons here as well. And those correspond exactly to the 11 on this menu here. And for the first lesson, which we're going to just go ahead and do right now, the first lesson is simply to get the Git software, which we've actually already done. And um, there's a verify step, which the workshop will be able to verify whether you did that correctly or not. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and the way to do that is simply to type in this command, get it verified git-it verify. Okay, it has told me that it passed and we're good here. So that also means I only have 10 challenges left. So that's good. The next step then is to go back to get it to show the lesson menus again. It's going to show that you've completed the first lesson, you can move on to the next one and hit enter. Again, the lesson text is not going to be in the terminal here, but instead it'll be in your web browser. So just click on this finger to go to the next page. And this is the second lesson, repositories. So you're going to just go ahead and read through these instructions and follow them closely. And then when you're done, you're going to do the same thing we did last time to verify what you did. Of course, at the workshop, if you get stuck, you can ask me or the other helpers to help you get unstuck. Here's a tip for using the command line or the terminal application if you're not familiar with it. You can always hit the up arrow key in order to get back to the previous command that you executed. And this is really handy and can save you a lot of typing. And uh, that's pretty much it. You are ready to come to the workshop. And I look forward to seeing you there.